have an update on my finish four by the 4th of July and I'm so happy with my progress. It's been two weeks exactly to date. So we are doing like an update each one of us. So definitely check out their channels down below. I'm going to have them linked down below. And first up is the powder. I completely finished it. Of course, this was kind of like my little cheat sheet because I was probably like more than halfway through with this powder. And this is the Revlon Nearly Naked. So, so excited that I finally finished this. So I'll probably add in something else. I'm not sure yet what. Probably a powder uh, to try to finish up by July because I feel like this was just a complete cheat for me because it was so easy to go through. So yeah, I did finish this up. Really like it. It just kind of gives like a little bit of extra coverage. I actually have it on today. I finished it up today. It just gives an extra coverage. It's very light, very beautiful on, very natural. So really loved this. Next up is the Tarte Concealer. And there is my progress right there. If you can see those two little lines. This was the first time and this is now. So I have used this up quite a bit as well in the last two weeks. And if you're wondering why I've used, um, I've used it up you know like more is because not only am I using it for underneath the eyes I've been highlighting like down the bridge of my nose my forehead underneath here even around my nose like I'm just finding every single way that I can use this sucker up so uh, I have to say I'm not really a fan of this even underneath the eyes I feel like it doesn't really give me as much coverage I don't know why I used to like this <laughs> so far it is not impressing me I have to like layer on other concealer or highlights on top of it to really give me more coverage for my under eye circles so I don't know if back then I didn't have that many under eye circles or they weren't as dark as they are now okay my hair is coming out but I don't know it's it's not as good as I remember it next is the NARS sheer matte sadly you can't find this anymore because they discontinued it as you can see my progress has been pretty good this was the original line and I'm down to here now so that's pretty good for two weeks I really feel like I'm gonna be using this up completely by July I should be done with this sucker I've been mixing it in with other foundations I've been using it by itself and adding just like face oil to it to make it more of a creamy more natural consistency so it glides on my face easier and the the texture isn't as matte so so, uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I've been using this up just because even though it's discontinued, I want to get my money's worth and really use use this up. Last is my total fail. It's the Hula by Benefit, and this is like the mini size. I thought I would hit pan on this and no, the, you know, like with no problem. And it's taking me forever, and I've been contouring the crap out of my face. I've been contouring everything. I've been using it, like, on the daily. I've even used it as a transition shade for my eyes. I don't know what else to do, but I'm just going to keep continuing, continue. Hopefully, by July, I will have this panned or at least, like, use you know, like, something. Because <laughs> even though this is such a tiny packaging, I feel like they packed in so much product in here. So that's kind of good, but at the same time, really bad if you're trying Project Pan because it's taking me forever and it's only 0.1 ounces. So, yeah, so that is my update. Don't forget to check out the other girls' updates as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. I love you guys to death, and until next time, bye guys.